Hi everyone, Ashley here and welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today's video is a fun, interactive slimline card using some of Juan Juan's newest interactive slimline dies. Um, I made this ocean scene and you can lift each flap to see a special surprise beneath, which is super fun. So without further ado, let's get into the card making. I'm starting by blending the background. And for this, I blended an ocean piece and a sand piece, and I'm gonna kinda glue the sand piece on top of the ocean piece. Now, the interesting thing about this mechanism is I had to blend two identical pieces for each because I'm gonna have one that's behind the flaps and one that's in front of the flaps. And I wanted it to look like when you open the flaps that you're just peeking into the same scene. So I wanted it to have the same background. So that's why I'm blending two of each. Now, if I could go back, I would make some changes here. I'd probably just blend the sand right onto these panels so that it's all one piece and then you just duplicate that so you have two. In this case I'm doing two oceans and two sands so it ends up being four layers of cardstock glued together and it's a bit thick. So if I could offer some advice to you as you're doing this maybe stick to just having two pieces of cardstock layered together. So to make these ocean backgrounds I'm just using some watercolors um, so I'm just sort of dipping my paintbrush into each of these three different shades of blue and just kind of going back and forth to make these sort of horizontal wavy looking lines. Next it's time to blend out the sand pieces and these I cut using um, again Lawn Pond's newest wavy border die that they made long longer so that it could fit onto use slimline cards such as this one. So I'm just using again some yellow watercolor here and just kind of dabbing it onto each piece um, kind of blending in some brown to give it a little bit of extra dimension. Um, and again, I'm blending two because one will be on top of the flaps and one will be behind the flaps and I wanted them to look very similar. By the way, all of these pieces were cut out of Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock, which is great for holding water, and they were cut using Lawn Pond's latest slimline rectangle dies as well as those wavy dies that I mentioned. Okay, so I wanted to add a little bit of extra dimension to these panels, so I just sprayed them with some water and uh, just dried it with some paper towel to get that kind of bubbly effect. I'm also splattering on some liquid stardust from Lawn Fawn, and this is just a super shimmery clear liquid. Um, I'm dabbing it onto an acrylic block and just splashing it out with a watercolor paintbrush, and this allows you to get that kind of random splatter effect. I'm doing the same thing also with some white acrylic paint, so I just mixed some white acrylic paint with some water on that acrylic block and then just splattered it out in the same way. For the sand, I'm also doing more splatter, but this time with some gold watercolor, and I just wanted it to kind of add that, again, extra dimension. Okay, so now it's time to start putting the mechanism together. Like I mentioned, I am gluing that sand piece right on top of the water piece for both panels, so you get sort of that sand and water effect. By the way, um, the sun came by, so you can see some sun rays shining in, that's just because of my window um, off to the right there. Okay, so on one of the panels, I'm using this triple lift the flap die from Lawn Fawn, which is shaped specifically for slimline cards. And I just ran that through my die cutting machine off camera and you can see that it cut out those three little flaps. And now I can take that open flap piece and glue it right down onto my second panel that I had blended. So you can see I just kind of put the glue around the flap. So of course, make sure not to put glue on the flaps. You want those to be able to open. But then when you do that and glue it down onto that base piece, You'll see at the end there when I show you um, the flaps opening that you can peek right in and see that same scene kind of as if you're looking through a window, which is really, really cool. Now off camera, I went ahead and stamped out and colored a whole bunch of underwater themed images from all kinds of different Lawn Fawn stamp sets. And I will list all those stamp sets down in the description below. So if you're curious about where any of these images come from, just check out that description and you should definitely see where those images are taken from. I didn't show the coloring and cutting because I show that in so many of my videos. So if you want to see kind of how I color images like this, definitely go check out um, any of my other videos. A lot of them have coloring in them. So before I could start gluing the images down, I did go ahead and glue the whole panel down onto a card base. And I put a piece of red pattern paper behind it so that you get that nice red border. Off camera, I also stamped out the sentiment onto a piece of red cardstock and cut it down to a strip. And I've glued that down onto the top of the card there. As you can see, it says, hope you have a sublime birthday. So this would be really good for a birthday card. Once that's done, I can come in and start gluing down all the rest of these images. And I used mostly liquid glue because I just knew that the flaps were already giving so much dimension. I really didn't need to add much more using foam squares. I also stamped out the sentiment lift the flap beneath each of those flaps so the person that gets this card knows what to do. 
As a final touch, I just added a few little sequins around the scene as well. So here you can see sort of the overall ocean scene and then when you open each of those little flaps you get a little surprise. So beneath the left one is a little mermaid, beneath the middle one is a shark, and then beneath the one on the right is that fun um, sort of scuba diving person. So I really love these lift the flaps. I think it's so fun that you get to see like a special surprise beneath each one when you open it. I hope that this video was useful to you and that you enjoyed watching. I hope that you learned something about how to put together these lift the flap cards and how to kind of make it look like a seamless scene, whether you have a flap lifted or not. If you did like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I post card videos quite often. And if you want to see more of my cards, I post a lot more um, all over on my Instagram account, which is linked down in the description box below. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.